The Dragon Quest series is one of the longest running JRPG franchises, dating back to the original Famicom release of Dragon Warrior in 1986 in Japan. North American NES owners got their first taste of the franchise in 1989, and Dragon Warrior instantly became one of the staple RPG franchises in North America. Originally released on the PS1, Dragon Quest VII has been retooled and revamped for the 3DS as Dragon Quest VII Fragments of the Forgotten Past. So should this game have stayed in the past? Dragon Quest VII starts out on the peaceful island of Estard, which is allegedly a remote peaceful island in the middle of nowhere. An adventurous main character, you, joins the Prince of Estard and a local girl. Bored with the standard island, you set out on an adventure to find out if there are other lands besides the one you are stranded on. Eventually you realize that there are indeed other islands, and they must be restored by visiting the past, hence the game's name. The story plays out a bit standard like a JRPG affair, but the writing and dialogue between the characters is well done and thought out. Considering the game was originally released in Japan in 2013 on the 3DS, you would think that the graphics might feel and look a bit dated. Surprisingly, Dragon Quest VII has some of the best character models and environments I've seen on the 3DS. Each character is highly detailed, environments are brimming with color and variety, and the game is just pretty impressive overall graphically. A keen eye will notice lots of nuances and little touches in the background that really help draw you into the world as well. One drawback to the high fidelity of the towns and character models is on the overmap, as it suffers from constant pop-up of trees and whatnot. It's a small trade-off though, and since the game does feature visible enemies on the overworld, it's a decision I'm okay with, as I'd rather have that than no pop-up but random enemy encounters. The audio in the game is mostly well done as well, with beautifully orchestrated music throughout the game. One minor quibble I had was with the lack of sound effect for footsteps. This may seem like a minor complaint, but it just felt a bit strange and made some areas and dungeons feel a bit hollow by lacking this. Of course all the graphics and music in the world can be great, but if the gameplay lacks then it's a waste. Thankfully Dragon Quest VII is a pretty straight line JRPG with enough elements to keep it fresh. The main focus of the game is to find the missing fragments, which in collecting a certain number will make another island appear in which you will visit. Defeating the dungeon on the island will bring the island back into the current world. Characters can also switch classes about 15 hours into the game when a certain island appears, and can then customize their experience more to their playing style. Since all of the enemies appear on the map, random battles aren't a problem, and if you feel like grinding, which you will do a good bit of, you can do so at your preference, which is a feature I always enjoy in an RPG. Combat takes place in a first person perspective, which is standard for the series. Dragon Quest VII is a long game, but thankfully there is a nice mechanic that will keep your objective in mind. You can talk to characters in your party at any time, which will usually give you hints as to what your next objective or place you should go should be, so even if it's been a little while since your last playing session, you'll be right back into the mix of things. While the game is mostly positive aside from the mild nuances I have mentioned previously, there is one issue that can be a bit annoying, the start of the game. The first hour of the game has you getting mostly backstory and contains no combat whatsoever. Surprisingly, this is actually cut down from the PS1 release of the game, which was double the time, but it still feels way too slow to get into the meat of the game. However, once you get into the meat of the game, you are greeted with a fantastic JRPG experience that doesn't deviate too far from the traditional path. While some people might not like the older style of play, I think it works great in this game. Couple that with a good story, mostly solid graphics, and an excellent musical score, and Dragon Quest VII is yet another must-own JRPG on the 3DS. I'm glad this game finally got translated and brought stateside, and I think a lot of JRPG lovers will feel the same as well.